Hello, this is Mrs. Dries, and today we're going to talk about how to pick a topic for a research paper or how to look for research information using the SERS database on iowaaeaonline.org. Let's say you have an assignment and you have to either write a paper or a, a speech or do some research about a topic of your choice. Um, I'm going to pick a random topic like capital punishment. Capital punishment. Can't spell today. All right, I can do a Google search for that. And here's Wikipedia. Wikipedia has all kinds of information. Um, but I'm always a little bit leery about Wikipedia because I'm not sure exactly who put this information on Wikipedia. Did that person have real credentials or were they just someone who feels strongly about it and really doesn't have any um, credentials? in order to add that to Wikipedia. So you can look for other research articles and you might find some, but a good place to go to find research articles is the SERS database. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a search for, my computer lets me, um, I'm just gonna look for Denison, oh here's Denison High School, we can click on that. The first one is Denison ISD, and that's not our school, but here's Denison K-12. Here's Denison Community School District. We'll click on that one. We're going to go to the middle school, and then we're going to click on the link to the Media Center. Underneath the picture of the Media Center, there are many links. We're going to click on the one in the center that says AEA Online. On the left are all kinds of resources that we can use for free as long as we have a username and password. So I'm going to click on the SERS Issues Researcher. All right, now we need a username and password. And our username and password is 1701DEN for Denison, MS for Middle School. The password is NWAEA. So I'll type that in, 1701DENMS. Password is N-W-A-E-A, -E and I'll press enter. All right, I'm going to click on the link to the SERS knowledge source. Okay, here is a whole list of topics that you could write about. I think this one would be interesting, cursive writing. Should we have cursive writing or not cursive writing? Should we spend time teaching that or not? But there's all kinds of different topics, and I talked earlier about doing um, capital punishment. So here's capital punishment. Over here are the top 10 that have been researched by other kids. So I'm going to click on capital punishment. All right, so here's the issue. Um, capital punishment or the death penalty was first used in the United States in colonial times. I can click on that link and I can find all kinds of information that basically describes the topic. I can scroll down and there's pros and cons and the essential question, different perspectives, critical thinking and analysis, so some questions that you can ask yourself when you're forming your, um, your research. I'm going to go ahead and press back. Here is the pros and cons of the issue and the essential question. So the question is, is capital punishment necessary? Is it necessary to kill someone who committed a very violent crime? Yes, capital punishment deters crime and gives closure to families of victims, or no, capital punishment has not been proven to deter crime and it opens a possibility of executing innocent people. All right, we have three, um, three articles that support, yes, we should have capital punishment, we should have the death penalty, and there's three articles that say no, we should not have capital punishment. Now, sometimes they have the same article in both but I think this time um, there are three different ones. Down here, we can look at our resources. We have 532 results that came up with capital punishment. We have 306 newspaper articles, 70 magazines, 49 viewpoints, which are editorials written in the newspapers, um, eight different reference collections, and um, 99 graphics and multimedia. Um, they also have some different topics. Maybe you want to look at capital punishment and juveniles to see maybe about just about kids. Is, uh, is it okay, okay to have kids um, be killed for committing crimes, serious crimes, or not? 
I think we might, I'm going to click on that. All right, now there's only 76 articles, 23 newspaper articles, four magazines, two reference, 47 graphics. So I can go ahead and click on any one of these, and it will give you, oh, this one is the timeline. This is the timeline of capital punishment and the history of capital punishment, not for juveniles, but for all capital punishment. I'm going to go back because that's not what I want at this point. Um, here's the difference in sentencing of two juveniles highlights difficult issues. So you can click on that, or here's when children kill, punishment varies. So here is all of the information where you found it. It's a newspaper article. It's the McClatchy Tribune News Service on September 16th of 2009. Here's your title and your author. Here's the information. So you could read that article and see if that gives you any help in your research. At the bottom, there's a summary. And then they also have a citation. It's important to tell in your paper where you found your information. There's two different formats. You can do the MLA format or the APA. I think usually in school, we, most schools use the MLA format. So here's how you would cite your source. At the bottom, if you want to save this article to your list, you can click on this box and it will add it to your list. I'm going to go back to our search results. Let's see. Um, no one too young for execution in Iran. So this talks about what happens in Iran. So you could go through that article and see if that helps you. Here is the summary and the citation. I'm going to add that to my list if I read it and I thought that was helpful information. And let's see. Juvenile death penalty abolished. So we'll click on that one. Here's the information. You can read it to see if that will help you with your research. And I'm going to go ahead and say that it will and I'm going to add that to my list. I'm going to go back to my search results. Okay, now I can go to my list and I can see that I have three articles, so I can click on those. And if I want to just create my bibliography, I can click on that button. And it should give me a list of my three articles. Now, I'm going to just use every other one. I'm going to use the MLA and not the APA. They put two formats on there for each article. All right, let's go back. Um, I'm going to go back to just capital punishment because I, it gives us a few more options. Okay, over here are some research tools. Here's the topic overview. And they tell, this one talks about criminal justice. And they have essential questions under criminal justice. They aren't all about the death penalty and capital punishment. The first one is, but the other ones are not. So if you like, um, the idea of the death penalty, but you didn't want to try that. It, this gives you some other questions that you could research as well. Some different perspectives, global impact and statistics, terms to know what is capital punishment. It's the penalty of death for the commission of a crime. And that gives you additional resources at the bottom. I'll go back. The timeline, I think we looked at that a little bit earlier. Here's the capital punishment timeline, the history and then how that's evolved from 1608 all the way up until June 26 of 2013. So um, they keep their information current and updated. I'm going to go back. Here is the global impact. It talks about in different countries in capital, the criminal justice administration of and the global impact. Here's Spain, Pakistan, Pakistan and India. I'll go back. Statistics shows you some charts that talk about the criminal justice system. It also has some 130 articles. And my analysis, this is kind of a nice way to organize your information to create your project. You can pick a topic 
what topics are of interest to you, what's the purpose of your project, who's the audience. So you would download this form and answer those questions to help you pick a topic. Then you would develop basic knowledge. So you would download this form to answer these questions to create your basic knowledge of the topic. Then you will separate your facts and opinions. So you'll download this form, answer those questions, and it will help you to separate your facts and opinion. Write a thesis statement. So what is your viewpoint? So you have your clearly stated opinion plus specific supporting arguments, and that is your thesis. Here's your supporting evidence. You list your arguments and then facts to support your arguments. And then you apply your knowledge. You create your paper or your speech. And then you can ask yourself those questions to make sure that you met all the requirements. It's just a nice step-by-step -step way to write your paper. All right, I need to close the tab on that one. Here's a note organizer you can use to take notes. It has to load. It takes a little bit. You can, if you're writing to inform, you put your project name and your name. Here are your notes about your topic. Here's viewpoint one and viewpoint two. Two reasons for this viewpoint and the supporting evidence, and two reasons for this viewpoint and the supporting evidence. If you wanted to change that template, there's different, um, you maybe want to have three reasons, or maybe you're writing to persuade someone so you have different reasons, and a different way to organize your data. You can save that, export it, print it. It helps you to keep your information organized. All right, let's see. So you'll basically you'll do a quick search, or you'll do a search, come up with a topic, or pick a topic from the list, and then you can select your articles. After you have all of your articles selected, you can go to My List to print out your bibliography. You can also email those articles to yourself if that helps you to stay organized and use that information to write your project. I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to use SIRS in your research.